Someone. Do you mind if I close the blinds? Oh, why are you so jittery? And why are you standing at the window? Don't close the blinds, I'm reading. Next time you should bring something more interesting for me to read. And they told me by name. Others were just watching from afar and whispered behind my back. So I just nodded respectfully, and when I passed the pub, everybody buy, uh, offered me to buy me a drink. I just barely escaped. After I went to the butcher, and the butcher himself handed me over a package made just for me, and everybody wished me and my dear wife good health. 
I thought my new newspaper was the source of this friendly and affable be behavior. Finally, Leopold Bloom's name became famous. The inspiration between the morning meal and the following intestinal congestion and premeditative defecation brought me this success. So I went to the publishers, and everybody shook my hand and congratulated me, and I still didn't understand for why. And then they handed me over the strange book. You, but what this? I see many of you came. Well done. Allow me to wish everybody here Happy Bloom's Day. Today, all of you can take part in a very special show. The characters of Ulysses are springing to life, so much so that even though they don't understand how they got in the middle of the action, their lifespan with us is just one day. In a literary time frame, that's 800 pages, and when multiplied by the number of readers, why, it's practical immortality! Midsummer's night draws so close, and so we mustn't be surprised at the appearance of the characters before us. For as we all know, on Midsummer's night, the lines between what's real and what's imaginary draw close and closer still, until they disappear. And our favorite characters come to life, if only for a short while. You can ask them questions. Of course this will disturb them. And in the end, we'll have to let them go back to their own habits in the pages of the book where they will continue their daily routines of more than a hundred years. Till then, let's see how Molly and Leopold Bloom would react to the book if they encountered it on the 16th of June. Please, everybody, enjoy the show. Tell you, this guy knows all about us. Who? James Joyce. <laughs> He's telling our thoughts like we sprung forward from his mind, like acting from the forehead of Zeus's. You mean to say that he wrote a book about us? But why would he do that and how? I don't know, it's like he did a thousand pages. He knows everything about us. Everything? <laughs> yes, he knows everything. Every thought. That too. Even that. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we have to destroy it. No, yes. it's too late. There is a review of it already, and it says it's spreading like the Spanish flu. Thousands of copies printed already, and it's translated into different languages, <coughs> which may cause some noise to some to understand, because Joyce's uh, language is really difficult to understand. Many people just right now are trying to read it. Some sweat, some bleed, and, uh, and some give up. But there will be always a few enthusiastic souls who will throw themselves at it again and again. Only a few will make it to the end, but those who finish the book, they will celebrate it. This will be Doomsday. It's Doomsday! Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry, darling. Your great knowledge is at the end of the book. But there is a chance that a few people will finish it. You know what they say, but not because you just make you stronger. Oh, so they have already read this? Uh, they actually already wrote them. They are them. Oh, yeah. In Hungary alone, there were three translations. The third one gives the most accurate description of the language games, the in-jokes, and the comments. Do they say anything about me? He said, you already told too much about yourself. <laughs> now, sorry for the delay. Let's get to the point. So where are we today? 16th of June, 1904. Eccles Street in Dublin. This is where Leopold Bloom's day began. And from here he went on his stroll in the city. You must all have tasted the great breakfast that Marion's husband made for her on this illustrious day. And now, it's my great honor to guide all of you into Molly and Leopold Bloom's living room. For it. What is this gentleman saying? He can't be serious about inviting all this crowd of people into our home. Probably if I wouldn't be human, it wouldn't be bad. You only teach you to be the attraction. Well, 
coffee and hard wine are plenty. Which is to say, the Moyar man is not a scruffy, scrawny, weasel called <laughs> bare-boned apparition, even though you could fool me. No, the matter of the universe flows through him with cheer and abundance. <laughs> if I was to ask the Moyar man, what is your favorite vegetable? Corvass. <laughs> Spicy sausage. And what is your favorite food? Fruit? Bacon. Bacon? Do you enjoy eating chitterlings, I can see? And your dear wife is rather well fed. She must be a great cook. Oh, I can bring anything to boiling point. I have a question for you also, Mrs. Bloom. Please do not ask any kind of questions from her. Please. Call me Molly. Mo Molly? Molly, please. Whatever happens, do not start a 50 page note from the end of the book. I'm really hungry for it. Well, my dear, don't worry. I will answer in few sentences. Molly, how does it feel to be the companion of such a great man? If I would have just few sentences, then I would say. Oh. Yes few words. We wouldn't want to run out of time. Now, would we? Oh, great for sure. I tried just that. The real connection to, you know, small change matter. Of course. Thank you, Molly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to let our characters go. There is still so much to do, not only for themselves, but also for... Excuse me, but, but, but I'm a little bit confused now. Like, what will happen with the book? Uh, I'm really enjoying this popularity, but uh, to be honest, I rather can't be my day here at this. Page 250, where I just started this really delightful book under the Merchant's Arch. Of course. Thank you for being yourself. I would stand a song now. Of course. Mm -hmm. Next time. <laughs> Remember the word, my dear lady. We will continue this next year. <laughs>